Well, Super Bowl 50 is in the books. Another season comes to an end. New Dog predicts the Super Bowl winner again. I didn't. My fucking dog did, though. And yet I'm wearing a Gryffindor beanie. What the fuck of it? It's cold out here. It's winter time. Props where props is due. That Denver defense was every bit of the number one defense that we saw this entire season. That Carolina defense was every bit as good as the top tier defense that they were this entire season. The better defense came into this game and the better defense won this game. Aside from McManus kicking field goals, I ain't gonna give much other points scored credit because there's one offensive touchdown from the Broncos. There's one offensive touchdown for the Panthers, but we all know how I feel about the quarterback of the Denver Broncos, and frankly, he's in the past. He's done. His career is over. It's wonderful. He's got two rings off the back of his defense again. One off the back of his defense again. I can harp on that. I could sound like I'm bitter. He's got two rings. And there's nothing that can change that fact. There's nothing that can change that fact. And I'll just swallow my bitter pills and call it adieu. Au revoir. Wonderful career. Step aside. Your era is done. And the fact that Von Miller had to be second fiddle to him coming up on stage at the end. I don't know, maybe I'm just someone that didn't get all the hype of this guy. Enough about that. This was just a bad Super Bowl, guys. It really was just a bad Super Bowl. It has, it has nothing to do with me predicting the Panthers to win at the end of the day. I really don't give a shit who won this game. I don't particularly like the Panthers all that much at all. Hell, they beat my team this year, so there's no love loss for that happening. But if it was a close game, I would have harped on a lot more things in this game. I never bring up points of refs like you know like oh man they, they left the door open and there were some bad calls <sighs> I don't even want to go there I don't even want to go there but it, 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 if you watch that first half of the game and you don't think that there was a clear intent as to who was the team that was favorited to win this game in the minds of the referees then you draw that judgment because I drew mine Anyway, Cam Newton. Cam, not quite ready for primetime Newton. Carolina, not quite the Seattle Seahawks Panthers. What a piss poor performance. And... And that's the thing, like, you know, it's like, you don't want to say, like, oh, they played so bad, but what are you not giving props to the Denver Broncos defense for playing good? But that's the thing. Carolina was moving the ball, was getting success against this Denver defense, and then they would just mess up. Drive down. Multiple 50-yard drives that amounted in nothing. Turnover. Hit the upright on a field goal. Turnover. Just wow. Wow. What a colossal series of errors. And a championship team. You can't come into a game, play like that. And that's the thing. Like, like even when Carolina kept getting breaks, 
And all of you that were watching my Twitter account during the game as I was live tweeting, I'm like, I'm not going to kid myself into thinking Carolina. What has Carolina done in this game? It's given me an ounce of hope that they are going to come out and retake the lead. Well, they never had the lead. But they're they going to actually take the lead in this game. What, what made you think that for a second, any of you? I mean, it was just such a piss poor effort from Carolina. And it made the game suck. Because I could at least see a back and forth battle scene, a Carolina offense that was just primed to put up points and score. And one offensive touchdown? 10 points? Get out of here! Seattle would have ripped the NFC a hell of a lot better than you guys did tonight. A hell of a lot better. Because it's clear that Carolina just doesn't have that championship intangible. I, I know, oh, neither do the Eagles. Well, no shit. No shit. It was just... <laughs> I, I, I hate that the super I, I hate the Super Bowl is over. I hate that the football season is over. I, I hate that it was such a dud of a game. This was this was right up there with Seattle versus Pittsburgh. Like this game sucked. And again, it's not taking anything away from the the Denver defense was if you're gonna find one bit of enjoyment in this game. Other than McManus kicking three field goals, it's the Denver defense playing a lockdown championship. We actually want to win this half of the game. And they did. Forcing three turnovers, holding Carolina 10 points, allowing drives to go along, then getting the turnover. Now, granted, that missed field goal. Talib was completely offside, but like I said, you draw your own judgment as to where you think the refs were calling the game in the first half. You draw your own judgments. I ain't going to tell you. To see a dirty scumbag like Talib get a ring. Again. Anyway. The football season is over, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to sit here and take a whole bottle of bitter pills now that the bitch has another ring off of the back of his defense. I know, it's getting old repeating that shit. Thanks again, guys, for watching, enduring, however you want to put it, through another season of Archfiend football videos. It's been a fun ride. I just wish it ended on a, a bit more higher competitive note. Congrats to Denver. Hey, if you're a fan of Denver, <laughs> I, I don't care how my team would win the Super Bowl. <laughs> if everyone else thought the game sucked, I could give a shit less. So congrats to you, Denver. Party it up. And all of you that bet against New Dog and, and went with my advice of who's going to win this game, shame on you. Shame on you. Where do we go from here? Is this the end of the Archfiend channel? Just like Peyton Manning, I will not divulge that information tonight. Or is that just a teaser? Because you know I'm never going away. You decide. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much. I really enjoy making these football videos, and they are the absolute most fun I have on this website and have had for years content creation-wise here. And I don't thank you guys enough for that. For the feedback, for the fun times, and all the back and forth. <laughs> all the bitterness, all the hate, all the highs, all the lows, and all the pointing and laughing at my team. It still doesn't have a ring on their fingers. Even though I have a ring, but it's not a Super Bowl one. <sighs> it's been a wonderful ride. Just how much longer will that ride last? We'll find out in the near future.
Or will we? Have a good night, everyone. Congrats to Denver. And congrats to Von Miller, the man who was taken number two in the NFL draft in 2011. Who was taken number one? Cam Newton. Enjoy second place Cam Newton. By the way, I don't know what the fuck Cam was doing on that fumble. He was just like, oh, there's the ball right there. Let me get away. What a disappointing uh, what a disappointing effort. Again, I, I, I feel for any team that doesn't have a ring because it hits home with me. It's like, at least Denver, eh, you got multiple rings. You're fine. As a franchise, you're fine. You got multiple rings, multiple great memories. A team like Carolina, Philadelphia, Atlanta, uh, Detroit, Cleveland, Chargers. And I go, okay, we all know the teams. Everyone in the AFC South that doesn't have a name that rhymes with Shindianapolis Dolts. You know, all of those teams. We know who the fucking losers are. Anyways, I've droned on long enough. Have a great night, everyone. And we'll be back next year with a whole series of videos where it's nothing but new dog picking who the winners are. Have a good day, guys. Go Gryffindor. Peace.